guys, how's it going? My name is Jewel Tolentino, and in this video, I'm going to review the GoPro wrist strap. All right, so I bought this one, and it's not actually like the name brand GoPro wrist strap. I got this one off of eBay, and it's like a non-brand, non no-name brand one, and I wanted to test it out. So I got this, and I actually took it on some roller coasters here in Vancouver. There was a theme park and I took it on some rides. So I'm just going to show you quickly how it attaches. Um, first, I'll show you the actual strap. So it's just like this and it's got the, the mount feature right here. And you've got this like long, very strong strap, that, you know, you really need to rip off. So you want to attach your camera on like this. So you've got your GoPro and you attach it on. Um, this does not come with the strap and you just attach it on. And I found that I needed to really tighten this because we were going on roller coasters and um, it was flying around everywhere. So. Generally speaking, you're not supposed to bring, you're not supposed to have cameras um, while you're going on roller coasters. Um, but I was able to put it on my wrist and make it seem like it was a watch. So I'll just show you guys in just a second. All right, so it was my first time using it on the roller coasters. And so I put it on my wrist like this. And a couple of times I needed help with um, strapping it on but you just pull it on here and you want to like you don't want to be loose with this so you really want to tighten it so I really made it tight so it didn't jiggle around too much so this is what it looks like on my wrist so I would fold it usually it would go like this like it's standing upright right but that's too obvious so that was a camera so I folded it down and I just acted totally normal when I would get on the roller coasters. Like, I would just move around, strap myself in, and, um, you know, people didn't really notice that it was a camera. There was one ride where someone knew that it was a GoPro, and he asked me to take it off before the ride went up. But that was the only time, and I rode a lot of rides. So, I uh, strapped this on, and this strap thing has got a cool feature. There's, like, a button here that you can push and you can have the GoPro facing you like my reaction or I can face it um, outwards so that if I could I could see the view that I'm having so you can swivel it around as such right so I mainly had it on us because I wanted to see our reactions uh, when we went on the roller coasters so pretty much this was good. This was okay, like on the swinging rides and things like that. Um, up until we went on the wooden roller coaster, even though I did tighten it, the wooden roller coaster was so crazy, like it was just shaking all over the place, that this would often go like that while we were riding. So I would always have to pull it back up because the the force and the shaking was so crazy that it would oftentimes fall down so maybe next time I would go on I would hold it um, because it it does swivel around back and forth like that when you're going on an intense ride um, but other than that I was pretty happy with the footage um, I will link it in here in the description. You guys can see like a compilation of the roller coaster GoPro footage that we did. It's pretty crazy and it was scary at times. Um, but this thing held up pretty well. I mean, I was being shaken around, thrown, my arms were going everywhere, and it held pretty well. I mean, it did not lose my GoPro, it didn't fly off or anything. So I would definitely recommend this wrist strap. The only thing is um, when you're wearing it for a long time and you're doing like aggressive things, it does rub up against this bone here. So it will probably be sore by the end of the day. I wore this two days in a row at the roller coasters and then the next day again because there was another event and my 
my bone here on my wrist was sore so just be aware because this like plastic thing is going to be rubbing against um that's my only drawback um but yeah this is this strap was significantly cheaper than the actual gopro branded one so um, if you guys are tight on cash, I would definitely recommend getting this non-branded kind because it works just as well and it was, I'm pretty, I'm quite pleased with it. So that's my review of the GoPro wrist strap. I highly recommend it if you guys are doing something where you can't necessarily have it holding in your hand or you can't put it on a, um, a uh, monopod, I highly recommend strapping it onto your wrist. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. Um, if we've provided you with any value at all, please let us know by giving us a like, a subscribe, a comment. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you like these videos, um, click in the description below. I've got some other GoPro tips and tricks. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.